welcome back guys um, this time we're just gonna do a quick little I don't know hack whatever you want to call it do they make an actual uh, battery pack for this Pentax it's an older Pentax uh, it's only 12 megapixel but still it would work great for some uh, zoom shots but anyway they make an actual um, external power supply and your cord comes out you know so that you can still plug this um, you know close your <clears throat> close your compartment and whatever and then you stick your little pigtail that comes out of it in anyway but this one takes double-a batteries and it eats through them especially if you do video so um, in the past I wanted to you know somehow rig up something that would you know I've done it for other electronic things before just take the little you know 12 volt charger thing cut the ends off and make you a 12 volt power source um, this one's only six volts three amps and really all it is, is it's a little plastic piece similar to this um, that resembles two AA batteries that slide down in to this area right here. And then the little pigtail comes out and you plug it into the wall. Um, that's all it is. So I found these, um, they're AAA to AA adapters. They actually sell them on Amazon for, you know, uh, AAA or AA to C or D or whatever size batteries basically so that you can you know use this in other things so anyway I bought two of these uh, it comes with contacts on this end also I popped those out popped these out and soldered a you know black and red wire to uh, each one then I just used some I didn't have any hot glue so I just used some plastic epoxy that we had and basically just filled it up down in there hopefully to keep it from you know if my solder job's not very good That'll keep that from coming out. Uh, drill a hole in between two. Um, so that way you can, you know, run them together. And then what I will do once I'm finished is I'll get this and I will glue it together at the right heights and stuff so that it'll be uh, glued together properly. But just for testing and stuff first, I'm going to leave it as is. And uh, the next thing I'll do is you want to make sure you double check, you know, of course your batteries go in, right? Like this and like this on the picture. So this one will be your positive side because your positive end is down and that's where your contacts will make. Um, I got all this off of the picture of the, the real one that you buy and, um, and then your negative ones on this side. So what I'm going to do is I got my, this is my negative. I'll probably mark it so I don't do it, uh, so I don't get lost. But I'm going to draw, put these in there, mark a hole on here wherever this little outlet is so I'll drill a hole right through there as well and run the the two wires outside that and then um, that way they'll be nice and clean and come out of there when I close the close the lid to it and then um, I will check real quick on my power supply I don't have the only one I have currently without having to buy one I usually save all these things I don't even know what this one came from uh, this one's six volt 1100 milliamps so it may not be enough um i can't imagine camera pulling more than one amp though uh, that just seems crazy but it could um like i said the actual one was a uh, three amps so it was a six volt by three amp so we'll see but anyway i'll chop the end off of here plug him in and then uh find out which wire is positive and negative um basically just check a hook a volt voltmeter up to it um and touch the wires. Um, if it's negative, then I got them backwards. If it's positive, you know, if it's positive six volts, then I've got the right wires on the right thing. So, and then I'll just put some colored tape on each so I don't forget. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna do, and I'll I'll get this all put together like I said. So right now, just pop these out, soldered the wires to, drilled a hole, ran them through, glued them so they wouldn't pull out, and now I'm gonna um, measure. Drill a hole in the side so that it lines up with this hole right here. And then I will find out the polarity on this and hook him up. And then we'll test the camera. Okay, I got my mark right here where I'm going to drill a hole. And I've decided just for ease, instead of um, gluing these together, it will probably just work fine if I tape them together. So just going to run some tape around there. And then I'll drill my hole. And we'll test it out. And I've got my red on this side and my black going down on this side, so that's the correct way. And I'm just going to make sure that this will fit in here with my tape. Wasn't sure about that. 
Yeah, it's like I might, might need to cut that down the center so the tape may not work. Okay, so the tape didn't work because there's this little corner lip here and it wouldn't let it go down. If I do it uh, loosely, I probably can squeeze it in. So I'm going to try just like one or two pieces and see if that will work. It didn't work because I put it on too tight and so it didn't span the scale. You know, it made it straight across here instead of actually following the contours of the round batteries compartments so that you couldn't slide it down. So I'm going to try just to cut me off a small piece here and wrap it real loosely following the shape of these uh, adapters and then that way I can press it down inside you know basically in here like that and that way I can follow around the shape of them um, and, and keep this little indentation here right there like that so that it'll slide down into the compartment. So I'm going to try that see if that'll work. Yeah, see that time it'll fit in there tight. That's good. So probably just that one piece actually will be good. And now it seems to be making contact down there, so I'm going to go ahead and close that off. And then now I just need to test these, or cut this off and get the polarity of that. And then we'll hook it up and test it. And my adapter might not even be working. Okay, so this one didn't work. I'm not getting any readings off of it, so I'm not sure what's going on with it. I do have this one that I had modified in the past. This is one of those variable ones. I would not recommend one of these. Um, as you can see, it's 7.45, and I actually have it set on the 4.5. So I'm going to move it down to the 3, and let's give it some time to drop here. Somehow it builds up or something, I don't know. Uh, some electronic guy out there can tell us, but it will drop and do hopefully what it's supposed to. See, it's still registering even though I unplugged it. Um, what I used to do is short it out real quick. See there now. Now we're down. So I moved it down to the three volts, supposedly. And uh, we'll see how many we get. Okay, so now we're at five something. Um, I read a few people on there uh, that have done this. They've, they've used five volts. Um, I don't know what the amps is on this one. Actually, I think it says 300. So it probably isn't going to work either. Um, I guess I'll get online and order me one if this doesn't work, but we're going to try it out. Oh, and just to show you, um, I already, this one's one that I use for testing stuff and trailer, whatever. So that's why it's already, I already got the, the right things on here. But um, if you'll see, I switched them. So I've got the black on the red and it reads negative over here. So um, that's how you'll tell which way to, to hook yours up. Um, put it back on correctly and it should go to positive and positive 5 volts so now we're back to normal so just make sure you check that because that's what will rough, will fry your camera um, you know, so again caution if you try this with any other electronics um, you could you know really what I what I do this for is when we're camping um, I kind of rig up something like this um, I have not used these before because I didn't know they existed but I will definitely fix some of our camping lights um, before we go. It's uh, almost August, so I've got two more months because um, we do a, the, the dove and the quail hunts. So I need to modify some of ours. These will work perfect for some of our camping lights. Um, you know, the way we have the trailer hooked up, we don't need them, but we have some portable lights and those little lanterns, 12 volt lanterns and stuff. So this will work good for that. So anyway, all right, let's uh, stick them in here. Yeah. But I don't think that the milliamps is going to be able to turn it on. It's not going to be enough power. Yeah, see, that's what I was afraid of. Not enough power to turn it on. Probably going to be the white stripe. Yep, so uh, a lot of times it's the one with the letters or the stripes, but uh, not always, so check it. So right there you got 6.52 volts. 
That's actually quite a bit. It should be six volts. So um, that's right at the upper limit of uh, this camera. So uh, kind of scary, but I'm going to try it anyway. So you might want to buy one that's a little bit shorter, uh, like a five volt, um, and see if you get that older. But anyway, if you get it backwards, then it should be negative six volts. So, so the one with the white stripe is it, but I'm just going to put a piece of red tape on it anyway, just so I don't forget and screw up later. And then remember, just double check when you put it in. Make sure you get your positive on your positive side. So, and slide that in there. Should be good. And you make sure it comes out the little hole over there. So now that's on there. Turn this off, get him out of the way. And let's see if the six, the point oh two volts is too much. So, put him on here. Let's plug him in. Let's see if he'll come on. Yes, he does. There he goes. Comes on. Full battery green. Looks like it's working great. So, now I have an external battery source. Well, battery. I could hook this up to a 6-volt uh, battery. You know, one of those big square ones if you wanted to. Hook it up to that. Um, just use the pigtail, and then you could have a portable thing on your, on your camera uh, or on your tripod. And, uh, and then you'd be good to go. Looks like it came loose there, yeah. So that one came loose. I'm gonna put together some kind of connector real quick though. I just wanted to test it. And uh, but like I was saying, you can take this pigtail if you make these into where they will, um, you know, use those barrel connectors. That's probably what I'll use. I like those, they just slide in pretty easily. They're a little bit better than the spades. Um, then you could, you know, hook it up to a battery. Uh, any you know huge better if you wanted to take it out somewhere and set it up so alrighty thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video